kukwa gani la kubugisi television inyanga nioi I want to take this opportunity uh, to welcome you once again. This is Bogus Television. Uh, thank you for watching and following us. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel at Bogus Television. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We are very much humbled and thank you for all supporting this initiative. My name is Vinicate Manana, uh, the host. And today we are having Ivan Masaba that we are going to discuss a number of issues as far as his political career is concerned. Thank you for joining us on Bogus Television. Uh, thank you uh, for yet this other opportunity to invite me uh, at uh, uh, Bogisu Online Television. Hello, our dear viewers. This is Ivan Masaba, the National Unity Platform Stroke People Power, Our Power candidate for Northern City Division, a happily married man, a graduate qualified for the office of uh, Member of Parliament, ready to serve the people of Northern City Division. Uh, thank you very much. As uh, we head into 2021 polls, uh, someone may ask, what does Ivan Masava stand for in this, up in this coming elections? Um, my candidature is based on the principle of bridging the gap between the electorates and, and, and the elected leaders. Okay. Yeah, uh, previously we've had, we, we've had a situation where, um, where the citizenry is uh, disconnected from uh, from their leaders you see uh, our society has positioned their leaders as demigods whom they worship and uh, beg parity from uh, something which I'm trying to challenge and that I'm going to challenge now our electorate seem to behave as if they are beggars in this from their leaders during such times of elections. What approach have you come with to ensure that there is going to be a difference among the, from the previous elected leaders from the region? Um, our voters have been put in a situation of, uh, of appearing as if, okay, of begging, because they, uh, they think all they can get from, from, from the leaders who have come on board is money something which is wrong not we've come to offer services okay would love to offer services to the citizens but not to come and bribe here and there and uh, what have i come with i'm a beacon of hope to the citizens of mbali Moso northern city division for good service delivery that is my core mm. yeah good now, service delivery. now when you look at the status of development in the Bugisu region what capability have you come with to ensure that there is going to be something unique in your leadership uh yes well i can let me concentrate on uh, this northern city division of ours uh i have a holistic approach that okay. is very unique actually for the first time very unique uh, to be seen in Bali here. Um, I'm not only coming to to tell our people that I'm, maybe I'm going to represent uh, to represent you in Parliament, or I'm going to lobby and bring development to the area, or I'm going to understand your rights. But I have come to protect the properties of our people and their rights as citizens of Uganda. Okay. Now, in terms of protection and ensuring service delivery, what basics have you come with in terms of administratively? Bali has had a number of issues in regards to administration. Which approach do you intend to have for the people of Bali? Well, we have an idea, a practical idea of cooperativeness. Okay. You see, you see, uh, the, the, previous lead, the previous leadership has been working as individuals, but not as teams. You get it? So, we have a way we're going to relate with the technical team and the political wing to see that services are delivered right, right to the person on ground. And um, we would love to see that uh, the resources which are brought tickle down to the common man. Mm. such that they enjoy the services because the issues we are having here services are not coming to the rightful person now uh, as a leader what is your responsibility we have seen the education status in Mbali and preferably the whole of Bugis region there are a number of things that have been lagging behind what w what do you have for us in terms of uh, academics well the education system is rotten around the country 
inclusive of my area, Northern City Division. Mm. What are we looking at? Yes, accessibility to education, we do have it. Yes. There is UPE, there is use, so accessibility is there. Those who want to go into private, into private um, establishments, yes, it is there. So accessibility, we have it. But now the question is, where is, uh, where is the quality of this very education? Okay. Um, this does not just come out of the blue. Who are the stakeholders? We have the, the teachers. The teachers. We have the we have the pupils. We have the the administration, the entire administration of the area. Mm. We have we the leaders. So it is uh, the onus on, on us, the leaders, to see that we push, we push these people to come together. Children should understand that when I'm going to school, I'm not going for my parents, but I'm going for my own good. Because okay. I personally, I wouldn't be here if I didn't go to school. But I have to understand that education is the key. So the parents are supposed to encourage these students and they should support them to see that they go to school and learn. Now, and they should also see that they put facilities which enable these students to concentrate in class. Because you, there is no way you can tell me someone is going to focus on learning when they are when they are going without food, when they are not sure of lunch, you get it. Mm. So these are issues that need to be addressed by both parents and the sta and other stakeholders. So it is a collective responsibility. Now, Bali is a city. Uh, agriculture has been one of the key sectors that has been. Let me say it has been an agricultural hub for this country. What do we need to have? What do you have for the farmers out there that they should expect? Because most of them are surviving on as peasants and then as farmers what did you come with to ensure that our farmers at least they have something uh, agriculture uh, first and foremost has been uh, disenfranchised how right now there is a lot of land fragmentation which does not allow someone to cultivate on a bigger scale mm. so if if we are voted in we are we are to introduce new measures of agriculture okay. we, like uh, greenhouse agriculture aquaponics and then uh, also to go out there maybe as far as karamoja to invest the other side then we happen to have a huge production just just not a huge production but a production that we can be in position to export okay so uh, on top of this we need to have uh, processing uh, processing units which process these goods, we add value such that we can process something which will bring in more revenue. Okay. And this now comes to infrastructure. Uh, apparently, when you check my sub-counties up there, Bukonde, uh, Namabasa, uh, yeah, Bukonde, Namabasa and Raso, there is no electricity, but should we have uh, uh, electricity everywhere, power everywhere, we can have these industries uh, processing, then we export. Now, have you come to look for favors in politics? No, I haven't come to look for favors. By the way, um, I, I didn't tell you, I'm a practicing logistician and I'm an entrepreneur, so I have things to do. But I saw this gap, there is a gap missing in my area, that, that is what propelled me to come and contest but not asking for favors okay yes is it a retirement job no it's not a retirement job those who are looking for retirement job are there those who are looking for offices to steal uh, to, to steal from people are there but i've come to protect people's uh, people's property i have come to serve my people just imagine a young man who has stood firm right from last year i was spreading this gospel of, of seeing that we develop my area mm. so we are very serious on this cause and we are going to have the Mbali that we need to have. What is your public record? Because sometimes there are leaders that come on board and intentionally they have other hidden agendas. For, uh, the, for the very first time, uh, Northern City Division or Mbali in general is having a breed that is as clean as a young baby who has just been born. Okay. Uh, for the sake of... Um, of checking well, what has he done, I think you can, you, you can really go and compare, compare all candidates who are contesting with me, mm. check their record and then decide. And I urge all our viewers out there to really go and check before you vote, please, what I'm sending, what is he going to do, how has been working before. You, you understand? Okay. Yes. Now, among all aspirants, what is the, how different are you in terms of choice for your capability that electorates should have you as their next MP for Northern City? Um, this is a new breed. 
uh, this is a breed that is approachable. This is a person who has grown in Bali, who has lived his entire life in Bali, and who understands the plight of people of Bali. So I'm the best choice to represent the people of Bali and to bring development home. Now, as uh, we, we look through, electorates seem to be sometimes how do you handle electorates in terms of anger and any pressure? Yes, I understand. When you're in the field, things are sometimes very hot. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm someone who, who has worked with very many people. I uh, remember way back, I, I, I worked in a very uh, difficult industry of, uh, tr of transportation, I go on flyer buses. Mm. So I have a well composed kind of way with a lot of emotional intelligence on how I handle my people. Okay. Yes. Now, to all those that are watching us on Bugis Television, uh, you, you follow us on our social media platforms, get us on YouTube at Bugis Television and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Facebook as we wind up this discussion. What does Ivan Masaba, what is his message for his po other political aspirants in, Bug uh, in Northern State Division? One, we have Wanyoto, Paul. Mm. We have the likes of uh, uh, Paul Nangoli, Umaru. What, what, what message do you have for them as we, we come closer? All I can tell other aspirants who are vying for this same position, mm. first and foremost, they should, uh, they should watch out because this is already a done deal. And secondly, uh, to give opportunity to our, our people in Northern State Division and the entire Mbali, Really, I would invite them for a live political uh, debate such that our voters can know what are they sending. Are they sending uh, uh, thoughtful people? Are they sending people who are, you know? Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you under threat? No, Have you I'm, been threatened in this process? No, I'm not threatened. If, if police is threatened of me, why would I be threatened? I am not. Uh, you've just seen what we've just concluded uh, last weekend here running battles up and down with police just because His Excellency Robert Chagulani Sentamu, the incoming president of Uganda, was here. You saw what they did. Whoever they were arresting, they were wondering, is this Ivan? Is this the Ivan? You know, How is the future of National Unity Platform in this region? The future of National Unity Platform is bright because, um, as you can see, it has built up the whole youth and those other elders who are for change, who are for serious change not jokers anymore. How are you people in the national unity platform determined for change? Uh, we, are, we are going to get this change in, um, in a good way. I will not say that we are going to go to the bush and fight or we are going to do this. Yes, we understand there is no one who can get, uh, who can get power and gives you that, hey, man, you, you get power, you can move on. That's not there. Even, even the previous regimes were, were just fought, but this time we are saying, look, let us fight and uh, and a ballot. Okay. You get it. Let us fight under ballot and if really they play the previous tricks that they've been playing on other uh, other other uh, during other elections. Uh, surely we are very many, we are very tired and uh, you've seen what happened in um, in in Sudan, you've seen what happened uh, the other side. So we don't want to reach there. We are saying now, let us concentrate. Let us concentrate and vote. And, and we protect our votes and let them be genuine. Let the reasons be genuine. You get it. But why? But now, he, look here. Why are you in running battles with security agencies? Everywhere, whenever you see the red beret, it is all about tear gas and then others. Uh, no, the regime is very scared of us. But uh, I urge all our viewers, our viewers out there, all our supporters of NUP, uh, People Power, please be strong, stay on track because we are taking over. They are very scared. That's why they are chasing us all, 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 all now. In fact, should, 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 should we? Uh, should, should someone be notified that we are seated right here? Uh, you can see what may happen. Uh, this facility can end up being closed. But uh, here we're saying now, let us work in our calendar stand manner. We reach out to our people. At least we have opportunity. You can. We, we can reach them through media much as we are also being stopped from appearing on media. Okay. Now, as uh, we wind up this discussion, you've heard what Ivan Masaba has for the people of uh, Northern State Division. And then the tactics they have to ensure they scoop 
uh, the 2021 elections. Maybe in his final remarks, will have to tell us how prepared he is and how how his his ground is uh, to ensure that he gets that uh, genuine vote from the people of Northern State Division. Uh, ladies and gentlemen over there watching us here, um, we are very prepared to take the seat of Northern City Division. Mm. Our, 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 our voters are, are eagerly waiting for us and everywhere we are going, we are, we are receiving a lot of support. Our ground is totally fertile and I urge every supporter of People Power, please, on that day of voting, be vigilant and watch out to see that all our results are got and they are announced as they are because it is our responsibility. It is not just a responsibility of Masaba Ivan, but I just represent you who are watching us here. Well, I remain Ivan Masaba, uh, NUP People Power candidate for Northern City Division. I, I request for your mandate. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to see that we enter the Parliament of Uganda to represent our people productively, if effectively, fairly and equally. Actually, even diligently, to see that we develop our region. Thank you very much. Uh, catch you next time. Okay, thank you very much for all those that have been watching us. Uh, it has been a wonderful discussion. We have had Ivan Masava, uh, an aspirant in Northern State Division, and we hope uh, your determination and then the cast of your vote come 2021 should determine your future of the of this country because at most times we have had times whereby people have casted their vote but it has all landed somewhere that has not been very effective for them so i uh, hope to catch us next time please follow more of these discussions that we shall be having on our channel at Bugis television don't forget to subscribe we shall be bringing you more of this Bugis Television Inyanganiyoi